hello loves welcome back to my youtube channel it's halima if you're new here and if you're a returning subscriber i just love you guys so much and i just hit 300k today <gasps> not 300k <laughs> 300 subscribers one day but i just hit 300 subscribers and i am grateful for each and every single 300 of you i just i just love you guys so much anyways Okay, today's video is going to be about becoming the better version of ourselves. I know. Anyways, in 2024, by the way, it's December. And I feel as though when you're writing, you know, your 2024 resolutions, I feel as though it needs to start in December. That way you walk your way into it in January. And then we get into it, okay? Yeah, so today we're gonna be talking about physically, mentally, socially, spiritually. Just let's get into it. Okay, I have everything on my iPad because I tend to forget stuff if I don't write it down. So I need to work on that too. But let's get started. Okay, first up, we're gonna start off religiously, and I feel as though whatever you do, you need to make sure that God is a part of your plans. So whether you're Muslim, Christian, Jew, Hindu whether you practice hinduism or buddhism and you're watching this video specifically for like because i am muslim so specifically for like the muslim girls i'm gonna say start waking up for tahajjud you know get up pray because there's nothing what it like if you do not have god with you and then also do not forget your dakhir so your alhamdulillah and stuff like that say them throughout the day like like incorporate them into your life slowly that you get so used to it and you say it so often without even having to remind yourself and also make quran like reading your not just a, like if you're a christian like make bible like reading your bible a part of your daily life and if you're muslim be reading your quran every single day like even if it's you don't have to like read a whole chapter but like even if it's a short surah so like at least try to read one surah a day i am trying to improve on this and i have a friend that's my teacher that's teaching me right now so i'm really grateful for that because i left quran school really early and i missed a lot of classes that i really regret but yeah incorporate god and his word into your life and yeah okay let's talk about hygiene first off let's talk about showers okay you my friend you are gonna get a non-scented soap let's say palm olive like that is non-scented and antibacterial you're gonna use that shower first with it with your loofah or african net or scrub or whatever you use make sure that you get all of like the sweaty dirty areas the back of your ears are you hearing me and then once you rinse up the non-scented soap you get your scented soap Get a scent that works for you maybe like coconut and vanilla or strawberry me personally i'm a coconut and vanilla type of person or honey but you can get strawberry or like whatever scent you love and then use that that way you have already gotten the dirt of your body and you're gonna be smelling good because of the scent that you because of the body wash that you just use when you get out of the shower don't let your body dry completely let it be a bit damp and then get a lotion that has the same scent or a similar scent to your body wash and use that that way the like the scent will stay on longer if i hear anyone saying oh i don't use deodorant because it's winter i don't want to hear anyone tell me about oh i use christian deodorant it's the nature's deodorant you know them all that thing doesn't work and don't use winter as an excuse put on your deodorant whether you want the spray or the roll on whatever just use your own. Next up, skincare. Be taking care of your skin, guys. Don't just say, oh, I'm just gonna wear makeup to cover it. If you're dealing with skin issues, deal with your skin issues first and pause on the makeup or wear light makeup and then go back to your makeup however you wanna do it. And if you're wearing makeup, please be cleaning your makeup brushes. I personally am not a very huge makeup person. But if you wear makeup, clean your makeup brushes because then those could also be affecting your skin condition, like your acne or everything. Okay? 
exactly next up we're we're gonna be talking about how you spend your free time this is not like oh i spend it with my friends with my family this is like your alone time there are some people that love watching movies you go watch your movies there are some people that love sleeping you sleep there are some people that love reading you read but find a hobby that actually is like a bit productive for you even if in the beginning it's not a hobby try to like add it to your little lifestyle routine maybe you walk go on a 10 minutes walk every single day or crochet or read at least five pages in a book a day these are stuff that actually help with your mental health health why can i not pronounce this word but it actually helps with your mental health and it keeps you productive that way you do not become a lazy dump on the sofa i mean i am a la i am a lazy dump on the sofa sometimes and that's okay sometimes you just want to stay in bed and that is self-care too but you cannot be doing that every single time get up and do something maybe cook walk around cook go like on a little walk read do crochet anything just don't always be in bed next up food and hydration you see this this is my water bottle one thing about me is that i'm gonna stay hydrated this is my water bottle it's actually customized by my friend precious thank you so much precious anyways stay hydrated guys you want clear skin stay hydrated you know that thing that people are like oh my god literally when i tell my mom oh my god i'm sick or this and you just say drink water she's right drink that water and look at the food that you're putting into your body yeah nobody can be like oh my god do not eat fat foods do not eat pieces like obviously you're gonna eat them why because they're your happy foods but also do not forget your vegetables and your fruits be careful of what you put into your body even if you're gonna be drinking sugary stuff don't go overboard again too much of everything is not good so um yeah be careful of what you put into your body drink your water throughout the day get a little water bottle go to school with it why because you need to be staying hydrated and make don't skip your meal guys eat your meals morning eat your breakfast lunch and dinner don't be out there skipping your meals you need to be eating stuff you need to be eating well you are a growing human being you need that food i'm watching all of you i am watching you next up saving up your money i i do retail therapy and that's not good so whenever i'm sad what do i do i go out and i spend money but the past few months have been really good because i've been able to save so much money because of how much i stop and you know what i did budget start budgeting before you get your money my friend told me this earlier and she said before you get your money budget what you are going to spend your money on that way you know what you're gonna save what you're gonna spend and what you can just play around with so do that and in 2024 set a goal like you're like oh this is the amount of money i want to save that way in your mind it's gonna be like hold on hold on a minute that's how much i'm saving for so i can just be playing around with money but like yeah do that save your money guys and there are so many ways you can save your money me personally i have a piggy bank hold on actually let me show you guys my piggy bank okay this this is my piggy bank you see it's bigger than my head this is what i have been using to save my money and you know the thing with it is that because i bought the piggy bank itself for like 200 korans i don't want to break it once i put money inside so yeah but you can also save in like your bank account for people that are like above 18 you can go to the bank and they can open or you can open it yourself you can open a saving account for yourself and just name it and you're like for example my saving account is called traveling because i want to travel a lot in the future so name it traveling or my seizure or whatever you whatever you want to name it and put like set that once the money comes into your account it goes into that if you're below 18 and you can't do that just save in a piggy bank and i feel as though this is not talked about well enough 
go on solo dates don't you don't always have to be around people it's good to be around your friends it's good to be around your family but sometimes you just need to be alone to clear your thoughts so dress cute get on your little accessories put on your little boots your little bag and go maybe to a coffee shop i don't know you like dancing then go to dance class on your own whether you like crocheting 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 or knitting then get dressed go to your little coffee shop put on your little headphones you know be mysterious if you want to be but spend some time alone and go on solid dates it's really good to clear out your thoughts and to find yourself maybe get over stress of life get over stress with friends get over stress with family it's a really good way to spend time without having to interact or use up so much social battery okay spend like i know i'm talking about like go on solo dates and stuff like that but spend time with your family and friends catch up with people that you haven't seen in a while like for example if you had friends from other school that you hardly see once you have the time set up dates go out catch up spend time with your family talk to them see how it is going build relationship with people because as human beings as much as we need time off on our own we also need to socialize to keep this thing moving in check i almost poked my eyes out but we're not gonna talk about we don't talk about booing. but yeah socialize spend time with family and friends okay but when it's getting overwhelming like take a pause and take your time off you know go to bed early wake up early that way you have time to do like get ready and you don't have to be rushing around and just messing up your head over stuff you get me you feel me like i know you're feeling me right now you're feeling me through the screen right i know you are like we vibe so well we vibe so well. i'm sorry i'm sorry anyways yeah i am also working on my sleep i am also working on my sleep schedule because mine is also messed up but it's because of my exams these days and tests that i've been having but i'm getting right back into my early sleeping and early waking up but however on fridays and saturdays stay up as much as you want stay up as much as you want because i do that too when you come back home and you have the energy to watch tv till early in the morning watch tv till early in the morning because what as human beings as much as we were set into a routine sometimes you have to break out of that so fridays and saturdays stay up as much as you want but make sure that right no hold on on saturday go to bed early so that you can wake up early on sunday and then you go to bed early on sunday again so you can wake up like the routine goes back in time like on saturday i'm not saying like early early like seven o'clock or like eight o'clock or nine o'clock but like at least one o'clock be in bed that's all i have for you guys thank you so much for watching i love you so much i know you guys love hanging out with me <laughs> please hang out with me anyways don't forget to like share comment subscribe as little as it may seem to you means so much to me and thank you so much to my 300 followers <laughs>